Hey guys, it's Amazon Prime Day and we have some excellent deals on the new Delta Pro Ultra whole home solar and battery backup system. In fact, you can save over $2,800 depending on which system configuration you choose. Now folks, as you've been following the channel for a while, you know that a lot of folks are choosing to install their own solar power system as opposed to hiring a contractor. And there are a number of benefits in doing a self-directed solar installation. Uh, of course, the first is you can save a lot of money. By purchasing the equipment directly, for example, the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra system, you basically can do all of the installation, placement, and purchasing of your solar battery and inverter system and just make limited use of a roofer or an electrician to help you for trickier parts of the installation where needed or where you need a licensed professional to make a high voltage connection. But the majority of the inverter and the battery stacking and in many cases even connecting it into your home's backup system can be done by you personally as the homeowner. Now, of course, the other reason is to protect yourself from potential contractor default or what happens if the contractor goes out of business even though they were supposed to be around to provide you a warranty. And that's another reason why many people choose to install their own solar system using some of these off-the-shelf all-in-one systems like the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. Now, I had a chance to personally try this system out. We did an installation at my partner Dan's house in Central Virginia, and we're gonna show you just how easy it is to assemble the unit and hook it in for a home backup system. The smarter way to go solar. Okay guys, so we have the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra unit up and running already. This was almost too easy. Um, it literally took us about five minutes to assemble everything. Four wheels on the base, battery on the bottom of the base, inverter on top of the battery, and then the battery interconnect cable. Everything is pre-cut and it's, I, the one thing I really like about this is that both the power interconnects and the communications are in one cable assembly. So it's literally you plug one end to the battery, you plug the other end in, into the inverter, you press the power button, and we were online. Now, the battery came from the factory with a 33% charge, so that's where we're gonna be starting out today. And just to kind of walk you through your power outputs here. So on the front, you've got your high voltage AC power outputs. You got four 120 volt, standard 120 volt outlets. You also have a 30 amp RV style outlet and then you also have a split phase 30 amp generator type outlet. Now, I really like this because again, what we're talking about here is a solar system where you can purchase all the equipment directly, you can do most of the installation yourself. And again, literally assembling this unit took five minutes or so. But what you can also do is if you wanna tie this into your house for whole house backup, which is what we're gonna to demonstrate today, all you have to do is ask your local electrician to wire up a generator inlet, standard 30 amp generator inlet, and then you can just use a standard generator cord to take the output from your EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra, plug that into your house, and now you have a code compliant, safe, whole house backup without having to hire a high price solar contractor. All right, now part of preparing your home to have a generator backup or a whole house battery backup, you have to have some sort of a switching mechanism. Now, the way that we have the house configured here is with a what's called a main breaker interlock. And what this does is it forces us to disconnect the main breaker. In other words, to, to disconnect the house from the electric grid before we can activate backup power into the house. Now this is required for code compliance for safety because let's say there's a blackout or there's, there's some damage to the electric grid. If there are linesmen out there working on the electrical lines and I have my own backup power source in my house, I can't send that voltage back out on the lines or I don't wanna send my voltage back out on the line because frankly could damage some of the linesmen out there. So this is required by code is to have this some sort of a means of disconnect. Now, again, the house here is wired for whole house backup. So as soon as I disconnect the main here, I can activate input from the 50 amp generator uh, inlet to energize this entire electrical panel. And we're gonna do that in a moment. Um, but EcoFlow also has their own smart panel. So if you don't need a whole house backup and instead you want a partial home backup, where you identify your most critical circuits, the EcoFlow smart panel actually is pre-built to accept a cord input directly from the unit here. But the reason we chose to interface the way we did using a standard generator inlet is because it allows for, again, you as a system owner to do a majority of the installation yourself. You hire the qualified electrician to install the generator inlet and whatever your switching mechanism is, 
And then basically you can take the rest of the installation on yourself. You plug it in. We'll show you here in a moment how easy that is to plug in. And then we're going to switch off main power and activate backup power. All right. So now's the fun part. Now we're actually going to power some loads using the Delta Pro Ultra. So we're going to use the split phase output. Split phase meaning it provides both 120 and 240 volts uh, of electricity, which is what we're going to need for the whole house backup. We have both 120 volt and 240 volt loads. And because the house is wired for a 50 amp generator input, we're going to use this 30 amp to 50 amp um, receptacle adapter. So the, the standard 30 amp twist lock that you're probably familiar with on smaller portable generators, that's what the Delta Pro Ultra presents as well. So we simply use our adapter, match the prong with the key to the receptacle input that has the key notch there. And now that locks into place. And now this probably looks somewhat familiar to you all. It's basically a standard 50 amp dryer outlet, what mo most electric clothes dryers will use. So we'll plug our power in here, and then we'll use this to deliver power to the generator inlet on the side of the house. All right, now let's plug in our power source. All right, so now our backup power source is activated and plugged in. Now it's time to disconnect grid power and activate backup power. So I'm gonna turn off both main breakers. And now you notice when that main breaker switched off, that now allows the interlocking device to slide down so I can activate my backup power. As soon as I flip this switch, you should see load registering on the Delta Pro Ultra here. All right, if you can see, the lights are back on. And the unit's registering about 1800 watts of load to the house. Okay, let's go in the house and check out the situation and run a few loads. Okay, as you can see, all the lighting is energized as normal. Got the gas stove here, igniter, everything should be operating as normal. Of course, refrigerator. All right, but I want to run some heavier loads, right? I want to really exercise this unit. So something with a heating element. Let's start with the espresso maker here. Now, as many of you know, a lot of these coffee makers, really anything that's going to be heating water, right? There's going to be a heating element inside this appliance. And so those heating elements tend to be higher wattage resistive loads. So I'm curious to see how the Delta Pro Ultra holds up to this particular application. Okay, espresso looks good. Now, let's see if we can do a heavier load. Let's check out the microwave. Typically, these are gonna be anywhere between 1,000 to 1,800 watts. So I do expect it to draw more than the espresso machine. I'm just gonna heat up some water here. Put this on for a minute. Okay, so we've run some heavy 120 volt loads, meaning appliances that plug into a standard wall out. And I didn't expect that to tax the unit at all, but I think the real test is, can it run the central air conditioning unit? So let's go over to thermostat here. Okay, so we've got a Nest thermostat installed at the home here. Right now the air conditioning unit's off and it's about 70 degrees inside the house. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. You're gonna set this down to 65. All right, now I saw a, a brief flicker in the lights back there as I was adjusting the thermostat down. That, I believe, was the startup surge when the air conditioning compressor kicked on, and I can actually hear the circulating fan running now. So the AC is running now. Let's go see how the Delta Pro Ultra is holding up. I've got to say I'm impressed, because uh, again, we're only using a single battery unit here, guys. And so this is a big question for me is, could a single battery unit provide enough startup surge or enough surge power to get the central air conditioning compressor running? And in this case, it looks like it's running no problem. Now, if we look back at the screen here, though, Based on this amount of load, right now we're about 3,400 3, watts of load with the central AC running. We only have about 50 minutes of runtime based on the current battery state of charge. Again, single battery at about half charge only gives me 50 minutes. So although I could run all the things in the house that we've, we've shown you, I don't necessarily want to run all those things during a, uh, a blackout if I'm in an emergency power mode. So again, going back to that concept of load management, prioritizing your circuits or prioritizing your loads can help you really stretch your battery runtime when you're in a grid down situation. So in this case, although I could run central air conditioning, I may not want to run it or I may want to run it very sparingly so I can conserve battery for other more critical items in the house. Now folks, by the time you're seeing this video, we will be in Amazon Prime Day and we've got some great discounts for you. EcoFlow is offering up to $2,800 off the system. Plus, if you use the Solar Surge discount codes below, you can get an extra 5% off on top of the Prime Day deals. 
Um, so make sure you go check out the links below. We'll have links for the Delta Pro Ultra, as well as the slightly smaller Delta Pro 3, which are both offering excellent discounts here for Prime Day. Well, folks, as always, if you're getting good value from the Solar Surge videos, make sure you hit that thumbs up button and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so that as we have new videos coming out, it'll come up on your feed and you won't miss any special announcements like today's video here. Well, that pretty much does it for today's video. As always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video.